Last week, Harley shocked its fan base during its 2018 lineup release, primarily due to its merging of the Dyna and Softail lines. The previous Dyna line was redesigned and redeveloped to include the new Milwaukee 8 motor, as well as the controversial Monoshock rear suspension. The most drastic change of this line came to the Fat Bob model. The Fat Bob, with its unique bug-eyed headlights, fat front tire, and racing stripe graphics, is arguably one of the most recognizable Harleys on the road. And it's safe to say the 2018 Fat Bob will continue with this title. After 11 years since its initial release, the 2018 Fat Bob received a complete makeover. Looking like something out of the Walking Dead 3000, Harley ditched the Minion headlight to feature a futuristic horizontal LED. They also moved away from the racing stripes in exchange of a flat black tank topper graphic. The 2018 Fat Bob also features a shorter rear fender and a steep angled seat which seems necessary when you look at this bike's performance. The new Milwaukee 8 will be offered in both the 107 and the 114 configurations for the Fat Bob. The 107 is a 1746cc, 4 valve per cylinder, dual counterbalance V-twin, putting out 110 foot-pounds of torque. Harley claims that this new 107 platform makes the 2018 Fat Bob 10% faster from 0 to 60 than its 2017 counterpart. But if that's just not enough for you, Harley is also offering the Milwaukee 8 114, which is a 1,868cc, 4 valve per cylinder, dual counterbalance V-twin, putting out 119 foot-pounds of torque. This 114 version outperforms the new 107 by 9% from 0 to 60, and is 13% quicker from 60 to 80. But going fast in a straight line was definitely not the primary goal of the 2018 models. With a redesigned tubular steel frame, the Fat Bob has shed 33 pounds down to 675 pounds. And due to fewer welds, fewer components, and the solid motor mounts of the Milwaukee 8, has achieved a 34% more rigid chassis. Holding up that chassis is the Showa dual bending valve, 43 millimeter inverted forks at a 28 degree rake in the front, and a single underseat coil for the rear. The new rear suspension will allow for increased wheel travel, improved dampening, an easily adjusted spring preload due to the external adjustment knob. Keeping the bike planted to the ground is the Fat Bob's iconic fat tires, a 150 by 80 in the front and a 180 by 70 in the rear, both wrapped around a 16 inch cast wheel. But of course, all of this does come at a price. The 2018 Fat Bob starts at 17 grand for a black 107 or 17.4 for a 107 in color. If you're looking at the 114 model, you're looking at $18,700 for a black or $19,100 if you'd like some color. So I'd like to ask, what's your opinion on this redesign? Do you welcome the change of the new direction Harley is headed towards or do you feel like Harley is abandoning their roots just in order to keep the company afloat? I'd love to hear your opinions down in the comments. If you'd like to read more about the 2018 Fat Bob, I will include all the links I used for research down in the description. If you like this video, please take a quick second to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button. I do put out at least three videos every single week. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.